Good morning from Snake Mountain Boatworks. On January 2nd, we are back on the uh, 42 Imperial Sportsman. Trying to figure out this morning what this stuff was that is in all these grooves. And guess what we found? 5200. All these seams are full of 5200, which we can simply pull out and we open up a groove that is well, 3 sixteenths. So we now have an answer to the mystery as to why all of those planks up there have uh, buckled so badly. Uh, some enterprising soul decided to, quote, seal the bottom, unquote, with 5200. Well, the problem is that when 5200 cures, it no longer compresses. And so when the wood on each side of the seam tries to expand and the 5200 will not contract, what we have is a buckling plank. And here we've got quite a few buckling planks. And it's going to be uh, quite a challenge to release enough of them so that we can flatten them back out again because, as was the case before World War II, this planking is primarily clinch nailed. It is screwed with slot. Uh, brass screws on each rib, but in between we have we have uh, clinch nails, and we'll probably have to grind the heads off to release them because they are really driven in and set tightly on the on the other side of the you know, down in the bilge of the boat. So if I can implore one more time, not only to never fiberglass the bottom of the boat, please don't fill your seams with 3M5200. It wasn't intended for that purpose. It is more destructive than protective in that, when used in that purpose. And now you can see the kind of fun we get to go through and the kind of unnecessary expense that her poor owner suffers in the process, but we have to get all of this out because this this situation is not gonna not will not get better over time. Uh, John just noticed something that uh, I think is worth pointing out. Uh, not only did this material 5200 uh, destroy the planking of the boat, it didn't even work. It never adhered to the board. As you can see on the sides of this 5200, there is uh, nothing but dust and debris. Um, probably because each one of these boards has a slat in it, and if it wasn't properly scraped down to the wood in the seam, when you put the 5200 in, it adheres to the old debris on the edge of the board. So I believe that's why we easily can pull it right out is actually never adhered along with the fact that when you know board swells with 5200 in there it buckles the board uh, when it contracts when the boards contract it pulls right away from the rubber if there's anything in there for contamination yeah and we can see John as you bring up that point if we go up further and actually look in a groove right in here where I have had difficulty there it adhered yes here here it adhered to the wood pretty good. Uh, most sides actually it's it's in there pretty good. But now it's not adhering again. Right, right there. You can just go right up through and as you can see the sides of this is uh, a lot of contamination. Yeah. And you know, that's one thing to watch for when we actually do put sealer in the seams. And that's why we would always put CPES in first because it penetrates into the wood and provides the perfect surface 
uh, pre preparatory surface for be it paint or caulk or other material. Um, so, thank you very much. That's our update on the 1942 Century Imperial Sportsman for Monday, January 2nd, 2017. Bye-bye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.